Now, have you got unwanted house guests? You know what I mean, the kind with fur and, well, wings. Well, evicting wildlife in homes is on the rise, and Ellen Byron of the Personal Journal section, she is here to make sure we are covered. What have I not had in my house? Snakes, uh, carpenter ants, uh, well, a lot of stink bugs, because that's, but that's a whole different story. The most common intruders, though, that people are seeing are what? Well, mice and rats, yes. top most pest um, professionals list. Raccoons are big, squirrels, birds, bats. Um, there's a big variety that's coming indoors. Do they? Do researchers have any sense why this problem is on the rise, Ellen? Well, some say it's actually because of some success with environmental programs. <laughs> um, certain species have thrived, um, especially as suburbia spreads. The lush landscaping, the golf courses, the garbage cans that neighborhoods have, those are a lot more hospitable to certain types of wildlife than the um, agricultural fields and pastures that used to cover the U.S. generations ago. And it, it does not take much for them to get into your house. I mean, some of these creatures can make themselves incredibly mm. small. And if, if even the weather strip under your, your garage door has a tiny piece missing, they can get in through there. Exactly. I mean, I learned that mice need an opening the size of a dime. Yeah. A rat needs an opening the size of a nickel or quarter just to get in. And so it takes a lot of proactive strategy by homeowners to make sure their home is secure. It's not a matter of the age of your home or the cleanliness. And let's talk about some of those strategies. I mean, one thing I've always been told by pest management experts is that don't have a natural gateway for the animals to like sort of walk into your house. So trim back some of the branches around your home. What other things do you hear from them? Well, uh, another exterminator I talked to in New England said avoid vines like ivy growing up the I mean, side the of the Beautiful ivy exactly. that people love to coax he, up this house. He calls them highways for animals. Um, another thing is turn off all the lights on a sunny day, look in your garage or dark basement, check for any flashes of sunlight That's because if you can see sunlight, probably an animal can get in. And just in, in, in prevention really is the best cure, I mean in some cases, which is what you're sitting here telling us about, but what happens if it's too late and they're already in? I mean, what if the bat gets in? What are some of the steps that you can take to try and get the bat out? I mean, people, I think a lot of them are loath to just spray chemicals, or, or exactly. right? So yes. are there any other things they can try? All right, well, let's say that you can't get a professional in your house and you're brave. Um, <laughs> usually they suggest that if any animal gets in your house, keep your household pets away, that'll only make the invader more anxious and try to isolate them into one room. Hmm. And then let's say you have a bat. Um, one professional suggested get grab a pair of gloves, a small container, wait for the bat to land and try to capture it in a small container. Cover it with a lid, take it outside, and hopefully it will just fly away. And make sure someone in the house has an iPhone and videotapes you doing this so they can post it on YouTube afterwards. You right? may as well go viral in some yeah, way. You might as well. If you're going to have to deal with a bat, you should go viral as well. Ellen Byron, thanks so much. More in the Personal Journal section from you.